Okay, so I apologize for not having posted a video sooner, but uh, I've been having some issues. You might notice I'm in my boat. I still have the cover on. Had a problem with my electronics. As you can see, nothing there. <laughs> so I had to send my, uh, my Garmin off. Here it is. And I'm going to install it. I'm going to reinstall it. And I'll let you see how that goes. So, pretty simple. This actually just fits right into my dash. Voila. <laughs> Garmin installed. So, on this particular... Yeah, nice breeze. On this particular model, there are four screws that hold it in place always 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 use a screwdriver if you're putting a screw into fiberglass don't use a screw gun you're gonna crack something you're gonna break something and I would hate for it to slip and break my screen so I'm gonna put the screws in uh, we'll plug in the three cables and I'll show you what that looks like all right now it's screwed in walk around have a look at the uh, inside of the console and I'll show you where I make my connections okay so this is the inside of my center console here's the back of my Garmin and I've got three simple connections to make my NEMA 2000 and it just plugs in and we tighten our connector Then we've got a 10 pin connector. And again, it just plugs in. And we tighten up our connector there. And last but not least, the power. And it just simply plugs right in and we tighten down our connector now for the moment of truth we will turn on the battery switch and see if everything's up and running okay so we flipped on the battery switch the Garmin is working so pretty simple uh, let me show you what it looks like and just a couple features real quick so this is my Garmin. It is the 1242. And this is uh, just running a program. So a lot of cool features. That's the traditional. There's the uh, clear view. Inside imaging. Uh, you can do a split screen. Uh, it even has uh, forward imaging so it can see in front of the boat which is pretty neat if I flip over to charts get our standard fishing chart and you can zoom in with the wheel and you can see how fast it is it's, it's this really is an amazing unit um, 3d chart so as you're actually looking at a body of water and you can, you know, pan up or down, but the way we actually see it when we're on the water, here's the pass going out to the Gulf. And it's got the fisheye 3D and the same thing. You can change the angle. The radar overlay on the map. I'm sure you've seen radars before. Precipitation is something that's really neat, especially here in the Gulf. We have storms pop up, and you can zoom into your area and actually see where the rain is and see it coming at you so you know if you need to get off the water. Super neat feature. I love my Garmin. I can't say enough good things about it. And then, of course, combos. 
you know my one of my favorites my map and the radar at the same time that's pretty neat so you can actually see what's out ahead of you and I can see boats moving you know towards me or away so that's it it works oh yeah autopilot So one really super cool feature that I have on my boat, uh, most people with boats this size don't have, is the autopilot. What's really unique and neat about this is we can uh, we jump over here to uh, my fishing chart. Pull that up full screen. So we can actually touch a waypoint on the screen, if you can see that in this light. But you can touch a waypoint on the screen, you push uh, engage autopilot, and it will actually drive the boat to your waypoint. So that's a really nice feature to have. Um, also, it's an extra pair of hands if you happen to be trolling, if you're you know, running down a weed line, it will, will hold heading. Uh, so that's a pretty cool feature. And of course, it's all integrated. Everything works together, including the uh, standard horizon uh, VHF radio and my trolling motor um, it actually gets GPS coordinates from my Garmin and uh, that's how the anchor lock works so when we drop our trolling motor we hit one button and it will hold us on that spot so really amazing uh, again can't say enough good things about Garmin uh, they took care of me I had an issue with my Garmin uh, no questions asked they said send it in, and I did, and they sent me one right back. So, kudos to Garmin. Uh, if there's anything you guys would like to see, uh, either about my boat or the gear I use, hopefully they're in the videos. But if not, uh, shoot me an email at alatefun at gmail.com, and I'll be sure to uh, answer it either with a video or with an email reply. So, until next time. I've been Captain James, hoping you have a latte fun fishing.